Notably, as mentioned earlier, ammonia was largely absent, which combined with methane and CO2 strengthens the case. K218b may indeed be a Haitian world with an ocean beneath. Scientists have created a transmission spectrum chart of the planet's atmosphere showing how much starlight is absorbed at different wavelengths. The blue line represents the model that best fits the JWST data. Prominent absorption features indicate the presence of methane. The areas marked in purple, red, and green highlight the signatures of these molecules. With an intriguing segment around 3.3 microns hinting at the presence of dimethyl sulfide or DMS. What does this mean? Let's break it down. So, within this spectrum, scientists noticed a particular feature an absorption spike that didn't match any molecule expected to appear in standard sub Neptune atmospheres, except for one. When they ran atmospheric models, the data showed a tentative match with the presence of dimethyl sulfide gas at certain wavelengths. The team reported this as a possible detection of DMS, though with a low degree of confidence. We'll discuss the caveats shortly. Still, it was enough to spark increased interest because on Earth, DMS is closely linked to life's processes. Thus, JWST's data covering wavelengths from roughly 1 to 5 microns painted a picture of K218b as a hydrogen-rich world containing methane, CO2, and possibly even a molecule that on our planet is associated with life.